We back at it. One take Rob. BSO. Let's do this. Big Rob's the hell I came. I came is a dream. You're doing with Balco. That's the clear and the cream. A Flacco is a leaf. A Dre is for the street. You say you for the culture, but don't bring the heat. A Jimmy's a butler. A mid QB. We call it a J cut. A hustler's a flint. A Bayless is something you might want to skip. Screaming through. Even they Sell out to Whitlock. When your stock is falling, that's a made dog. Play y'all fell the cold press guy. You got blindsided, that's a Michael Orr. Your girl's a Jerry Jones, she's a Skeletor. Felling up is a trunk. A button is a pump, pump, pump it up. A LeBron is a con, read the page of a book. My brother, what, what are you cheesing for? Oh, you be an interview by Taylor Rooks. White girls balling, that's a Kayla Clark. The sign for shuffle is Yogi's cooking 80 at the top of the arm. <laughs> R.I.P. Big L. One of the best rappers to ever do it. Headlines with your boy, Robin Natal. Shani O'Neal has gone viral. Yes, the same Shani O'Neal of Basketball Wives fame who's now married to a preacher. She's the preacher's wife. She's selling a book, a memoir about her life. And a lot of her life, she was with NBA legend, Hall of Famer, four-time NBA champion, Shaquille O'Neal. It's not unusual for the ex-wife of a famous person to write a book, not unusual is for the mistress to, to write a book. Why this was different? Well, let me read you an excerpt of the book that has the internet going nuts. And I say, and, and I quote, looking back, I do not know that I was ever really in love with the man but I was in love with the idea of being married to the man I had a family with, Shani wrote. I was in love with the idea of building a life together. He was a world famous 30 something multi-millionaire with thousands of women throwing themselves at him. And people in general, just begging to be in his presence while also being a husband and a father at the same damn time. How could anyone possibly know how to do that? Shawnee wrote. That's gotten a lot of people up in arms. Shawnee admitting that she was never really in love with Shaq. She was in love with the idea of Shaq and the idea of the NBA lifestyle and the idea of raising a family when you are married to a multi-millionaire, but not the man himself. And a lot of people have been asking me, Rob, they say, Rob, what exactly is love? And should we even be surprised by this? And does this happen more often than we think? Well, I believe that ecstasy from Houdini described love the best. The words love and light both have four letters, but they're two different things all together. Because I've liked many ladies in my day, but just like the wind, they've all blown away. See, to love someone, it's an atmosphere that you both still share when one's not there. There's no real way it can be explained, I guess the way I smile when I hear your name It's the little things you do that mean so much It's the care that you put into every touch It's the way I trust you and you trust me I guess some of us are so lucky One love, one love You're happy just to have just one love One love, one love You're happy just to have just one That's banger Banger song Right there. Words, love and life will have four letters, but they're two 
different things all together because I like many ladies in my day, but just like the wind and y'all blown away. See, the love song one is the atmosphere that one still shares when the one's not there. Yeah, that's love. That's love in a nutshell. Just a feeling that you get. But the question begs, if you had a certain status in life, is it ever truly love? Have you noticed that actors and actresses always seem to get together? Maybe because they understand each other. They're on the same level. So maybe that you can have love when you're on the same level as someone. But Shaq, <laughs> I don't think it works that way. It probably doesn't work that way with a lot of multi-millionaires. If Shaq just worked at IBM and he ran into to Shawnee O'Neal back in the day, would they have gotten married? Probably not. Do you believe that a lot of these marriages and relationships that you see with high profile athletes, rappers, entertainers, is there really love? Or is it just the love for the lifestyle? I think it depends. For example, let's take Brittany Mahomes, right? Brittany Mahomes has been with Patrick since he was a sophomore in high school. And if you look at Patrick when he's a sophomore in high school, I can guarantee you that absolutely nobody but Patrick and his family thought he would turn into the Patrick Mahomes of today. Not even Brittany thought that. So can you say that Brittany's love for Patrick was real, considering she had no idea what he would become 10 years later? Or do you think at some point, if Brittany didn't see that Patrick was going to become what he was going to become, that that would have just been a high school crush and she would have moved on with some lawyer in North Carolina. Mm, things that make you go, hmm. I believe individuals know. Actually, I know individuals know. You know, when you're with somebody, how you feel about it. You can't lie to yourself. The mirror doesn't lie. You know if it's real or if it's something else. Julianis does not love Deshaun Watson. That's very clear. <laughs> that's, that's very clear. If Deshaun Watson worked at Apple, she wouldn't be with him. That's it's just clear. You can just see it. <laughs> Sometimes you can just see it. Maybe it looks nice and everything. It just, it's just not true. Sometimes you can just tell. Others, you never know. Maybe they do. Maybe Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift do love each other. Hard to tell. Would Travis Kelsey have been interested if she wasn't Taylor Swift? Taylor Swift had been interested if he wasn't Travis Kelsey. If he was a third string tight end instead of the Super Bowl winning tight end. Would she had answered the DMs? Who knows? I think deep down, only you know if you love that person. There's a lot of people today looking around at their significant others and wondering. Because it doesn't just happen on a NFL, NBA level. It happens on a micro level as well. Why are you with the person that you with? I've known a lot of people that dislike the person that they with. It's a very interesting thing to watch. Someone that truly despises the person that they're with. But there are, maybe there's other reasons that they're with them. They're attractive. They got money. They got a car. <laughs> it could be a lot of different variations and factors that go in. With that being said, I believe in love. And I do believe there's somebody out there for everybody. My advice would be, listen to what's here. It'll tell you the truth. Unfortunately, you can really never know what the other person is feeling. But you can only go by what you want. You know if it's true. You know if it's real. You know your motivations for why you're with somebody. You want to be happy long term? Make sure those motivations are true. If you want to be happy short term when you go to Vegas today, hey, 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 more power to you. <laughs> hey, look, somebody got to pay for that, sweet. I understand. I totally understand. Young brothers, 
please wrap up. Condoms, uh, I think it's still eight bucks. I know it's inflation and all, can't be more than 12. You don't want to be in a situation like Christian Wood. Knocked up Yasmin Lopez, who already has a baby with Trayvon Diggs, has a baby with somebody else. Carmelo is sending her flowers. She's on the, the Diddy yacht. She's scratching up your car. She's getting arrested for climbing over fences. She's dropping off your kid to who knows who. You, you go to court to try to knock out a custody agreement. She doesn't show up because it's a hot girl summer. She doesn't care that she only gets three hours uh, a month or a week in visitation, supervised visitation for a kid. Wrap it up. Condoms, 15 bucks at the max. Much better than 18 years of heartache. You know, you know, the one thing that James Harden doesn't have to worry about, no babies. James Harden lived his life at the strip club 10, 10 years straight, no babies. Now, at some point, James Harden can go find a secretary that's working at Boeing. Well, maybe not Boeing, because they, they kill people just for snitching. But you get what I'm trying to say. You find him a nice, the, the, the secretary at the church, they can go get married and have a bunch of big babies. And he don't got to worry about nobody else. Find somebody that loves him for him. Find somebody that loves foul baiting and over dribbling. Because he did it right. 15 bucks. You would think by now you guys would have figured that out. To those of you who are really in love, uh, salute. Shiny could have kept that out the book. <laughs>